Sailors assigned to U.S. Naval Forces Europe Band joined more than a thousand international military and civilian musicians to perform in the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo in Edinburgh, Scotland. We get to perform with contingents from over 12 countries, 300 performers, 9,000 audience members a night. Admiral Michelle Howard held a special all-hands call with the band to discuss the significance of the tattoo to our enduring relationships before she joined the many distinguished guests at the tattoo. The band in and of itself is important to me. They are natural ambassadors and they represent the United States in a very positive way. So as the band travels, it helps individuals of different countries get to know the United States a little bit better. And when you look at what the band does for our military members, it's integral to who we are as patriots. We're really grateful that the U.S. Navy Band agreed to support the Royal Air Force piece. And we've had to adapt that on several occasions throughout the rehearsals and even during, during the show. They've been really, really flexible in what we wanted. I'm very satisfied with that. In addition to the 220,000 people in attendance, the 68th Edinburgh Military Tattoo will be broadcast to 40 countries around the world and will be seen by more than 100 million television viewers. Making sure we have very visible activities where we're going to operate is part of helping the public understand that the United States Navy is present and we're here. And so the band helps us do that with providing positive image of the United States Navy while entertaining people and uh, letting people know that we live here in theater. Reporting from Edinburgh, Scotland, I'm Petty Officer Russell Rhodes.